but I'm the worst. This may be the last time I vlog with this camera because I got a new one and we're gonna open it up. It's the, well, you'll see. So this may be the last vlog where I'm actually shooting on my 70D. This is the 5D, but I needed one more camera. I've been wanting this for probably like a year. Probably a year, right Matt? So Matt's helping me shoot this. We actually just built this whole new set uh, for Max, so I'm testing it out. And I'm gonna do an unboxing of the 6D Mark II from Canon. I've heard mad people trash it uh, for photography, but I've heard many good things for, for video. And that's predominantly what I'm gonna use it for. This is gonna be my go-to vlog cam. Um, I'm actually gonna sell Matt the 70D because he needs a cam of his own. Um, it's treated me well, especially with the 11 to 16 Tokina. I'm gonna probably throw the 24 to 105 onto this camera for video because I've got a 70 to 200 that the 5D can take, but I'm now gonna be on the lookout for a wide lens, like a Canon 10 to 22. Or, or like a 16 to 35, I don't know. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit with the 24, but I think it's gonna be too tight. Anyway, 6D Mark II from Canon. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. Let's open it up. My man J-Rock has got me the ax. So we're gonna unbox with this ax. I heard it's very sharp, and it is. So I guess uh, this is the first time I've unboxed anything with an ax. From B&H, shout out to B&H. Okay, I think that's really all I need to ask for. Let's see, receipts. Definitely want those if we're doing expenses. Some paper. Oh, and the thing I failed to mention was it was a bundle, online b &H. I think I got it two hours before the deal ended. So we got this BG E28 battery grip along with the camera. So we got the battery grip. We got the 6D Mark II. You know what I hate is they always show it with a lens because it's like, oh, this is what it could look like with a lens, but this is just the body. It says right here, lens not included, which is like a major bummer. Uh, but in, anyway, this thing right here, the 6D Mark II. So the 6D Mark II and the battery grip, $1,099. I think after tax, it was like 1150 bucks or something. So great deal, had to grab it. I almost grabbed this at Thanksgiving um, last year, but you know, needed that money for Christmas presents. So um, let's open the least fun thing here, the battery grip. Open that first, let's see what we got. So I haven't had a battery, good battery grip in a while. Book, you know, all the good, all the usual things. Um, I had one with my Canon 5D Mark III when I worked corporate. So this will be nice. Um, I wonder if it comes with a battery. What do you think? I doubt it. Maybe, I actually think the camera will come with one, but um, this will hold two, yeah. So if you haven't ever seen or used one of these, probably um, just not used it, it's gonna give you two batteries in the side here. So you don't need to go and change it out, which is kind of key, especially if you're shooting video. Um, this bad boy goes into the battery holder on the camera, and I'll show you that. You uh, lock the camera in like so, and then this goes in your tripod. It makes it bigger. Most people would complain that the camera's bigger and they don't like that, but honestly, I like that it's heavier because it, it, it makes you a better shooter handheld and it's, you get smoother shots. So I'm all about having the grip. I actually, I don't really shoot um, vertically much, but just having something else to hold is gonna help. So battery grip. So battery grip there. And you look like you got a 1DX. Yeah, you look like a baller because it looks like you have a 1DX and honestly clients don't know. Here's, and the thing about this camera is that it is a legit camera that you can use on pro shoots. I would say it's still technically a prosumer camera, um, but I'm talking about like the hobbyist that spends mad loot. Look at this fat book. I'm never gonna read this. 
ever, never ever gonna read this. You know what else is key? That Tokina on the 70D takes a long time to autofocus. So having Matt assist me with this vlog is super duper helpful. All right, so fat book, we're not gonna use that. Warranty, register your camera, I never do that. Because if somebody steals it, it ain't coming back. Now, probably you're gonna get your money back in the warranty process, but I don't know. Anyway, I just, I just don't. So for what it's worth, I just don't. Good, comes with a battery charger. I lost one of these on a shoot in New York City. I just left it plugged into the wall, charging. So that was my bad. So here it is, I got it back. Yeah, $70 um, battery. Well, here's the thing. The battery itself is like 70 bucks at the store. Um, and these things, I don't know how much they go for, but to me, this is like $100 worth of shit. So you got that. I got all these straps. I don't really use them, but I guess I would more. Okay, strap, you got your battery, this thing. All right, and now what everybody wanted to see is this, the 60 Mark II. I'm gonna open this bad boy, get it out of the bubble wrap. When I was a kid, I loved opening bubble wrap because I'd pop every one of them. My dad had a retail shop and um, yeah, it was fun, okay. Open it up in the nice cloth that we all throw away. Oh, there it is. There it is. This is nice. So it's even without a battery, it feels more like a 5D to me, especially like this part of it here. It's a little longer. Got the, the, shoe, the hot shoe, cold shoe mount. No headphone jack, just like the 70D. Um, but you know, if you're vlogging, you don't really have time to plug in your headphones and check. Um, that is kind of a bummer, but I guess that would make it more expensive. You still got your HDMI out here, which is nice. And then again, the mic input there. So that's um, something that I already had on the 70D. To me, this was just a major upgrade from the 70D. And that's what I was looking for. The 70D cost me like 900 at the time. So to get this thing with a battery grip for 1100 and change is a good deal. Okay. The big things I wanted out of this was slow-mo at full frame 1920, 1080, which it has, and the articulating vlog screen. So now you can vlog, obviously I've got a Joby, so I'd be doing that, but the articulating screen is key. That's really nice. So you can do either way. So this is like, this is the pro vlog cam. I think Casey Neistat just, um, I don't know how recently, depends on when you're watching this, but when I'm uh, reviewing this, he recently changed over to the 6D Mark II for his vlogs. Um, and I've always liked Canon. I love the color space. I love the look. I'm not looking for 4K because like nobody's really consuming in 4K. And by nobody, I mean based on the general population, it's mad small. Uh, obviously the one downside is only one card slot and that's for the SD, SD cards. Um, the positive of SD cards is uh, it's easier to offload your footage than a CF. I'm not looking to do mad photo bursts with this thing. Um, so I'm not as keyed up on the photo um, abilities. So let's see if this battery is charged at all. Let's check it out. So we're gonna just test it here in camera. Okay, so it's not charged. Good to know. So in case, if you wanna just get this out of the bag, you need to charge it first. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a lens on this thing, charge up. Uh, I'll actually grab one of my batteries and put this thing to work. All right, so we're back and I think I need to pull the door off of the 60 to get this grip to work. Pretty sure that's how it goes. And we're gonna put the grip in like so. Okay, so that part's in and then we just gotta lock it in place. Yeah, this thing feels beefy. See, this looks pretty baller. Pretty baller right here. Um, plus, I think if, you, if you're just setting it, like that's a pretty steady shot. I have like a nice little table almost to the bottom. All right, we're gonna put the batteries in. Is there a mount on the batteries? There is. Mount on the bottom, so you got dual mounts, and you can attach 
um, like a lanyard or like a strap on the battery grip as well. There's also obviously both sides you can attach there too. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna put in a couple of these bad daddies. I guess they go opposite in there. We're using an off-brand and a Canon brand. <laughs> no big deal. All right, we're in. First look inside, turning on. Okay, not exciting. We have to enter the day and time. <laughs> Touch screen's pretty nice. We're gonna go find New York in here. Okay, we need a card. I think there's a card. Oh, Mardian Servo AF. Nice, so let's see. We're gonna go into manual mode because we always shoot manual mode around here. Just looking at the screen. We're gonna get out of auto ISO. Throw a card in. Nice. Yo, this is pretty legit. So here we go. First look out of the camera, back at Matt. Dude, you're the first captured image on the 60 Mark II. Oh, so the face recognition is good. Man, this is dope. I think we're shooting in 60, I didn't really test. So I'm gonna go back to, let's see how far away I can get, if we can vlog in, inside a vlog. Actually, fully extended arm is pretty good. And I have long arms. Okay, so vlogging on the 24 to 105, this is legit. With studio lights, obviously this looks great. There's the 70D. Looks pretty legit, huh? What do you think? Dude, it looks beastly. Right, so I think we're shooting 60. Um, I'm gonna stop here and let's take a look at playback. It was shooting 192030. okay. <clears throat> so now, the first setting in the menu is full HD 60, it's standard IPB. Actually, most people are saying that it's low compression. It's actually high compression. So IPB is averaging more frames. The low compression is what you want, which is almost none. So the intraframe, that's what you want because Premiere likes bigger files and it likes um, less um, averaged frames. So this is still gonna work great. I'm gonna go into 60. Uh, this is, oh dude. I'm in 1920, 1080, 60, yeah. Like it's beastly, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's the other cool thing is we can probably shoot vertical shots easily and if we're shooting content for Instagram, this is gonna be a good go-to yeah, camera. Yeah, but like I can vlog almost without a Joby with that. I'm excited to shoot a little bit in the 60, uh, 1920, 1080, 60, full frame and then play back a slow-mo, because a lot of the stuff I used to shoot for like Brian Leslie, um, he'd always want it in slow-mo. So now you can see that we're in 60. Check out the kicks. It does a pretty good job. That's freaking dope. Stabilizer, well that's my lens stuff, but 60 frames, bro. 60 frames, full 1080, that's what I was going for. Okay, that's pretty much the quick and dirty review. The reason I bought this was for the full frame, 1920 by 1080, um, 60 frames per second, so I can shoot everything 60, because I love to convert to 24 frames in Premiere. Okay, now I've thrown my 11 to 16 Tokina lens on here, one of my favorite lenses, especially for vlogging. And initially I was kind of bummed I wouldn't be able to use it because it's a full frame camera, but you can still use it between 15 to 16 millimeters. So right now I'm shooting in 60, full, uh, full 60, 1920 by 1080 on a full frame camera. That's exactly why I bought this thing for the video, for the vlogging, not for the photography. Um, though I'm sure I can get some dope photos with it. So just to go into vlogging mode here, we're at 16, we're at 15. 
If we do go into 11 to 12 and you get it all the way wide, you're gonna get that vignette. And if that's what you're looking for, that's cool. But honestly, it looks like I'm looking through a peephole of a hotel room and that's not the look I want. So I'm gonna go to 16. Just holding my hand out here, um, it's pretty easy to vlog, especially with the battery grip. It's actually a little better. But if I had my Joby, that is um, the best way, uh, the best setup that I wanna have for vlogging. So let's see, the EOS 60 Mark II, initial thoughts. Um, not really too pleased it doesn't have a mic jack, but then again, the 70D didn't either, and this is essentially my upgrade from the 70D. Uh, the battery grip comes in handy, two batteries in there. Uh, this whole rig right here was running for $1,099, so B&H had the special $500 off, so I had to get it, I was waiting since Thanksgiving was the last chance I had to buy it and I knew it would come back around. So all in all, this will be my new vlogging rig. Uh, this thing's gonna be a beast. I'm really excited about it. Uh, anything else? I think uh, I can even vlog with the 24 to 105 on this thing, which is what I'm really excited about. Again, one card slot, which isn't the best, but the 70D, again, had it. So you got your articulating screen, full frame. You can shoot 1080, 60. Um, I don't know what more I can say, but I'm excited to shoot some footage and in the next video, edit and show you how I can take 60 frames per second down to 24 frames and export because I really love that cinematic slowness that you get when you shoot in 60 and export in 24. I'm not talking about the slow-mo capabilities, just how it's averaging the frames out and it's spitting out this like really nice image. It, it's kind of like that hero image you see in movies. So that will be in the next video. Uh, so this is Davis Media for the EOS 60 Mark II from Canon. See you in the next one. Peace.